Hi guys. This is Diagratech. Today, we are going to download and install the latest version of FortiGate image into GNS3. In the previous videos, we discussed the two components of GNS3. First is we install GNS3 client in Windows 10. Second, we install GNS3 VM within VMware Workstation Pro. Please check the links on the description below if you haven't watched those videos. If you are new to my channel, please like, share, click on the notification bell and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Let's begin, we have to download the two required files. The 40 osqk 2 This is the FortiGate image that we can download from gns3.com or 40 net website and the empty 30g.qcow2 which we will download from GNS3 website. You can also download these files from the link description below. Open your web browser. Go to gns3.com. Again, you can sign up for free or login if you already have an account. Go to Documentation, Appliances. In this window, you can see the image appliances available for GNS3. We will select FortiGate. You can read the guides on how to install, appliance usage, appliance requirements which is 1024 MB or 1 GB. Scroll down and you will see the versions supported. You can download it from here but for this demonstration we will download the latest version from 40 net website. We will just download the empty 30g.qcow2 from here. Click on download. Wait for it to download the file. You can see the file is approximately 192 kilobytes. Now we will download the latest FortiGate image. Go to support.fortinet.com You can create a free account or login to download the latest release of FortiGate VM image. Click on support then VM images. For the product, choose FortiGate. For the platform, choose KVM. During the time of this recording you can see the latest version available is 6.4.5. You can download the older version if you want. The first option is to upgrade from previous version. Since we are doing a new installation then we will select new deployment of FortiGate. Click on download. Let's now check the downloaded files. You can see the empty 30g.qcow2 which we first downloaded, and also the FortiGate VM image but we need to extract it first. Right click then select extract files. You can see the file is .qcow2. We are going to import these 40 os.qcow2 and the empty 30g.qcow2 from the GNS3. Run the GNS3 application. Again, wait for the server's summary to turn green. But first, I will share with you something. This is optional. We will change the GNS3 local paths to different drive. Good thing about this is you can restore the appliances anytime or after you reinstall your operating system. Also, my drive C is for my operating system only. To do this, go to edit. Preferences. 
under general preferences. We will change the local paths. We will create new folder in drive D then add new folders with the same names. Click on browse. In my case I will choose my D drive. Create a new folder. We will name it as GNS3. Under that folder we will create subfolders with the same names. Create a folder for projects. Folder for symbols. Folder for configs. Lastly, folder for appliances. Now, we have to change it one by one. Click on browse for each local paths then replace it with the folders we have created on drive D. Again, this depends on your preferences. You can do this or leave it as default but make sure your drive C have enough space. You can now see all the changes on the local paths once done. Click on apply. Now we are all set. We will now install the FortiGate image. Click on browse all devices. Click on the plus sign or new template. We will install an appliance from the GNS3 server which is recommended so click on next. You can click on update from online registry to receive latest appliances available. Expand the firewalls. Select the FortiGate, you can see the emulator is Camu and vendor is FortiNet. Click on install. Click on next. We will leave it as default. Click next. You will see that the latest FortiGate version available is 6.2.2. .2. You notice that the empty 30G.QCOW2 are automatically detected. That's the file we have downloaded earlier. Since the latest version we have downloaded from FortiNet website is not available. We have to create a new version. Enter the version which is 6.4.5. It will automatically select the latest version available but not the one we downloaded. So we have to upload it manually. Click OK. Click on the FGTVM64.KVM. You can see the status is missing. Select Import. Locate the file we have downloaded earlier. Select the 40 osqcow 2 then click open. Scroll down and select the version you have created. Now you will see that status has been changed to found on GNS3 VM. In some cases, if the empty 30G.QCOW2 is missing, then you have to import the file you have downloaded. You can now see that the status is ready to install. Click on Next. Select Yes to install the version 6.4.5. It will show you the default username which is admin with no password. The appliance has been installed. Click OK. You can now see the FortiGate 6.4.5 is available. Next, we are going to configure the FortiGate firewall, we will do the very basic just for you to access from your host device. Go to File, New Blank Project. Enter a project name. Let's name it as Project FortiGate 6.4.5. You can see the location is the one we set earlier. Click on OK. Now, click on Browse All Devices. Drag and drop a cloud. For the server we will select GNS3VM. 
Next is we will add the FortiGate device. You will notice that we don't have a server option because the FortiGate only runs from GNS3 server. You can zoom in and zoom out. Let's add a link. Click on add a link. Click on the cloud, we only have one interface available. Click on the FortiGate. Select port 1. We will configure it as the internet facing interface or WAN. Let's now start the FortiGate. Right click on it then select start. You will notice that the dot has changed to green. Means it's already running. To run the console. Right click then select console. You will notice that the device is starting. While the device is booting we will check the GNS3 VM network adapter. Select the VMware workstation. Right click on GNS3 VM. Settings. You can see the network adapter is NAT. Now we will check what is the IP address. Go to edit, virtual network editor. Select the VM NAT8 which is the NAT adapter. Click on NAT settings. You will see the subnet IP, the subnet mask which is slash 24 and the gateway IP which is 192.168.216.2. You must remember the gateway. Let's show the interface labels. Add a note for the IP address. The gateway which is 192.168.216.2. The FortiGate 1 interface IP address we will assign 192.168.216.10. Let's now open the PuTTY and configure the FortiGate. Enter the username admin with no password. Every time you first boot the device or every after factory reset you need to configure a new password. If you're in doubt of the NAT adapter IP address. You can enter get system ARP to double confirm. We can verify that the IP address is correct. Let's now configure the FortiGate IP address. Config system interface. Edit port 1, this is the internet facing interface or WAN. Set mode static. This means we will manually assign the interface IP address. Set IP 192.168.216.10 with slash 24 subnet. Set allow access, ping, HTTP, HTTPS, Telnet, and SSH. Set role to 1 since it's our internet facing interface. Set alias to 1. End. Let's try to ping the gateway. Execute ping 192.168.216.2. It's reachable, we can ping the GNS3 VM NAT adapter. Now, let's test if we can reach the internet. Failed because we haven't configured yet the routing. To do this, config router static. Edit then question mark to check if there's a routing configured. It's empty so we will create sequence 1. Set destination to 0.0.0.0 slash 0 which means all. Set device port 1 which is our internet facing interface.
set gateway to the NAT adapter IP address 192.168.216.2. End. Let's test again if it can reach the internet. Great. It can now access the internet. Since we enabled the ping from the FortiGate then we should be able to ping from the host. Ping 192.168.216.10 Success. Now let's test to access from the web or browser since we enabled HTTP and HTTPS. Open the web browser and enter the device IP address. Enter your username and password. You can enable don't show again then click OK. You can see the firmware version is 6.4.5. To check the evaluation license you can click the bell button at the top. You can see the expiration date. After it expires, you can no longer use this appliance. You can reinstall it if you still want to do some lab test. If you are new to FortiGate firewall device. You can check my other tutorials on how to configure FortiGate firewall. You can also check it from the link description below. Well, that's all for today's demonstration. Stay tuned as we are going to install Cisco and Juniper images in the next videos. Please help my channel to grow. Click on like, share, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.